Okay, this is the first uh, video for reading the book Rich Dad and uh, Poor Dad. Here we go. There is a need. Does school prepare children for the real world? Study hard and uh, get good grades, and uh, you will find a high paying job with great benefits. My parents used to say. Their goal in life was to provide a college education for my older sister and me, so that we would have the greatest chance for success in life. When I finally earned my diploma in 1976, graduating with honors and、uh, near the top of my classes in accounting from Florida. State University. My parents had realized their goal. It was a crowning achievement of their lives. In accordance with the master plan, I was hired by a big eight accounting firm, and I looked forward to a long career and a retirement at a, an early age. My husband Michael followed a similar path. We both came from hardworking families, of modest means, by but with strong work ethics. Michael also graduated with honors, but he did it twice. First as an engineer, and then from law school. He was quickly recruited by a. Prestigious Washington D.C. law firm that specialized in patent law, and、uh, his future seemed bright. Career path well defined and、uh, early retirement guaranteed. Although we have been successful in our careers, they have not turned out quite as we expected. We both have changed. Positions several times for all the right reasons, but there are no pension plans vesting on our behalf. Our retirement funds are growing only through our individual contributions. Michael and I have a wonderful marriage with three great children. As I write this. Two are in college, and one is just beginning high school. We have spent a fortune making sure our children have received the best education available. One day in 1996, one of my children came home disillusioned, disillusioned with school. He was. Let me check this. What this illusion means here? Okay. Okay. Sounds like a disappointed. Disillusioned with school, he was bored and、uh, tired of studying. Why should I put time into studying subjects I will never use in real life? He protested. Without thinking, I responded, "Because if you don't get good grades, you won't get into college, regardless of whether I got college." He replied, "I'm going to be rich." Okay, sounds like he was saying, "No matter if I go to college or not." I will be rich. Well, very confident. Okay, let's continue. If you don't graduate from college, you won't get a good job. I responded with a tinge of panic and a motherly concern. Tinge. What's tinge? Let's check. Okay, let's tinge a little bit. And、um, motherly concern. Okay, 
And if you don't have a good job, how do you plan to get rich? My son smirked and、uh, slowly shook his head with mild boredom. Smirch, what smirch is? Smirch, okay, stupid boy, <laughs> laughing. Okay, we have had this talk many times before. He lowered his head and、uh, rolled his eyes. My words of motherly wisdom were falling in deaf ears once again. Though smart and、uh, strong-willed, he has always been a polite and、uh, respectful young man. Mom, he began. It was my turn to be lectured. Get with the times. Look around. The richest people didn't get rich because of their educations. Oh, I doubt about that. Look at Michael Jordan and Madonna, even Bill Gates, who dropped out, who dropped out of Harvard, founded Microsoft. He is now the richest man in America, and、uh, he is still in his thirties. There is a baseball pitcher who makes more than four million a year, even though he has been labeled mentally challenged. Mentally challenged. Okay, there was a long silence between us. It was dawning dawning on me that I was giving my son the same advice. Vice dawning. What's Donny? What is Donny? What's Donny? Okay, if you know what that Donny or me means, comment below. That I was giving my son the same advice my parents had given me. The world around us has changed. But the advice has it: getting a good education and making good grades no longer ensure success, and、uh, nobody seems to have noticed. Expect our children. Mom, he continued. I don't want to work as hard as you and Dad do. You make a lot of money. And we live in a huge house with lots of toys. If I follow your advice, I will win up like you. Working harder and harder only to pay more taxes and win up in debt. Wine or wheat? Wine up, probably. Let's see, wine up. Yeah, wine. Why not? Debt. There is no job security anymore. I know all about downsizing and resizing. I also know that ch- college graduates today earn less than you, and a you, and a、uh, less than you did when you graduated. Look at doctors. They don't. Oh, let's repeat this sentence. I also know that college graduates today earn less than you did when you graduated. Okay, that means graduates, college graduates, make l- less than before. Okay, look at doctors. They don't make er- nearly as much money as they used to. I know I can't rely on. <coughs> Social security or company pensions for retirement. I need new answers. He was right. He needed new answers, and、uh, so did I. My parents' advice may have worked for people born before 1945, but it may be dis. A straw.、Uh, oh, I don't know this word. Let me check. Disastrous. Okay, it may be 
disastrous for those of us born into a rapidly changing world. No longer can I simply say to my children, "Go to school, get good grades, and look for a safe, secure job." I knew I. Okay, I knew I had to look for new ways to guide my children's education as a mother, as well as an accountant. I have been concerned by the lack of financial education our children received in school. Many of today's youth have credit cards before they leave high school, yet they have never had a course in money or how to invest it, let alone understand how compound interest works. On credit, compound. What? What is compound interest? Okay. Let's say multiple interest. Okay. Simply put, without financial literacy and the knowledge of how money works, they are not prepared to face the world that. Awaits them, a world in which spending is emphasized over savings. Okay. When my oldest son became hopelessly in debt with his credit cards as a freshman in college, I'm I not only helped him destroy the. Helped him destroy the credit cards, but I also went in search of a program that would help me educate my children on financial matters. One day last year, my husband called me from his office. I have someone I think you should meet, he said. His name is Robert Miyazaki. Kiyosaki. Kiyosaki. He's a businessman and an investor, and、uh, he is here applying for a patent on an educational product. I think it is what you have been looking for. Okay, this is a new chapter. Just what I was looking for. My husband Mike was so impressed with cash flow. The new educational product that Robert Kiyosaki was developing, that he arranged for both of us to participate in a test of the prototype, because it was an educational game. I also asked my 19-year-old daughter, who was a freshman at a local university, if. She would like to take part, and、uh, she agreed. About fifteen people, broken into three groups, participated in the test. Mike was right; it was the educational product I had been looking for, but it had a twist. It looked like a colorful monopoly board with a. Giant, well-dressed rat in the middle. Unlike Monopoly, however, there were two tracks, one inside and one outside. The object of the game was to get out of the inside track, what Robert called the rat race, and、uh, reach the outer track or the fast, fast track. As Robert put it, the fast track stimulates、uh, simulates how rich people play in real life. Robert then defined the red race for us. If you look at the li- look at the life of the average, educated, hardworking person, there is a similar path. The Child is born and goes to school, 
the proud parents are excited because the child excels, gets fair to good good grades. Okay, excels. What excels me? Okay, means good at something. Uh, and it it is accepted into a college. The child grades maybe goes on to graduate school and uh, then does exactly as programmed. Looks for a safe, secure job or career. The child finds that job maybe as a doctor or a lawyer. Or. Joins the army, joins the army, or works for the government. Generally, the child begins to make money. Credit cards starts to arrive in mass, and the shopping begins. If it already hasn't heavy money to burn, the child goes to places where other young people just like them hang out, and they meet people. They date. Okay, let's repeat this paragraph because I was a little bit off.、Uh, having money to burn, the child goes to places where other young people just like them hang out, and、uh, they meet people, they date, and、uh, sometimes they get married. Life is wonderful now because today both man and woman work. Two incomes are blessed. What? What is please? Please, okay. Happiness, happy. They feel successful. They their future is bright, and、uh, they decide to buy a house, a car, a television, take vacations, and、uh, have children. The happy bundle arrives. The demand for cash is enormous. The happy couple decides that. Their careers are vitally important and begin to work harder, seeking promotions and raises. The raises come, and so does another child. And the need for a bigger house, they work harder, become better employees, even more dedicated. They go to. Back to school to get more specialized skills, so they can earn more money. Maybe they take a second job. Their income goes up. Incomes go up.、Mm, but so does the tax bracket.、Uh, tax bracket. Tax bracket. Bracket. They are in and、uh, the real estate. They are in and、uh, the real estate taxes on their new large home, and、uh, their social security tax.、Uh, bracket means holder, prob probably, or container. And all, um, and all the. All the other taxes, they get their large paycheck and、uh, wonder where all the money went. They buy some mutual funds and buy groceries with their credit cards. Credit card. The children reach five or six years of age, and、uh, the need to save for college increases, as well as the need to save. For their retirement, that happy couple born thirty-five years old is now trapped in the rat race for the rest of their working days. Yeah, they're they're yeah, they're definitely in the <laughs> they're definitely trapped. They work for the owners of their company, for the government paying taxes and for the bank paying off a mortgage and a credit cards. Then they advise their own children to study harder, hard, to study hard, get good grades, and find a safe job or career. They 
earn nothing learn nothing about money except from those who profit from their night oh what this word is naive who profit from their they learn nothing about money except from those who profit from their naive and work hard all their lives the process repeats into another hard working generation this is the rat race the the only way to get out of the rat race is to prove your proficiency at both accounting and investing arguably two of the two of the most <coughs> difficult subjects to master as a trained cpa who once worked for a big eight accounting firm i was surprised that robert had made the learning of these two subjects both fun and exciting um okay let's stop here it's getting too long i guess um if you are also reading this book or are curious about this book uh, what this book is please follow me and uh, i will keep reading the rest of the book and uh, hopefully it will you and myself will get something out of this okay thank you